Welcome back to Kerbal, and uh, it's it's not even 5 a.m. and the Kerbals are up and raring to go. Oh, let me just show you quickly. Um, we've got Gentop and uh, Haleen are uh, are now available for missions. So very cool. So we've now got six Kerbals that we can use. Excellent. Although we're not actually going to be using them on this mission because let's go to mission control. Um, by the way, having completed those two rescues, we've now got three more rescues that we can do. We've got uh, Melise, Raydan, and Rodbury. And we could go and pick those up. We can carry four passengers, so we could pick those up uh, in one go, which would be pretty darn good, but we're not going to do that. We are going to uh, position a satellite in a polar orbit. Now, this is a pretty straightforward mission. Uh, it nets us over 100,000, which is awesome. So let's do this. And this kind of wraps up the skills uh, that we need in terms of how to adjust orbits. So this is a good one to do. Okay, let's go build a rocket. We're going to use one of these probes. We've got two. We're going to use this octagonal one because it's, uh, because frankly, it's the coolest looking. And then we're going to grab, uh, now let's look at the contract because it tells you what you need to do. Uh, you need to launch an unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. Right, generate power. Easy enough. Utility. We'll take a photovoltaic cell and we'll have two. What the hell? We're going to try and do this pretty cheaply, but... And then I'm going to pop a couple of these on top. There. Okay. Um, two of these generates the same charge as one of these, but it's cheaper. And then we need an antenna. We'll go to science. This is the cheapest antenna, the Communitron. So we'll pop that. Uh, let's take the Shift X to reduce the uh, symmetry. Pop one of those on. Excellent. Now I want to show you a very cool part. Because obviously this isn't aerodynamic. We're going to use this thing, the Airstream Protective Shell. And all you do, pop it on the bottom. And then it'll allow you to bring up a fairing. Right? So left mouse click to set the, the first part because it's in two parts. And then the second part, bring it up until you're happy with it, left mouse button, and it'll just put a little top on it. And if you if you like mouse over it, it'll uh, expand it. If I go the right way, it'll expand it so you can kind of see inside. And you can still place additional parts. So like if I wanted to put like some thermometers or something in there, I could do it. There you go. Love that, very cool. Right, next uh, we, need some, um, we need some fuel and some power. So you know what, we're gonna take, um, Let's take a T400, pop that on there so we've got plenty of manoeuvring fuel. We'll take a, a, a Terrier engine. Right, so this is the thing that's going to fly around. And this isn't coming back, so I'm not going to worry about parachutes. Then we need something that's going to get this into orbit. So we're going to take, uh, let's see, we're going to take um, a couple of these 800 fuel tanks. Now, the, the, the 400 holds 180 fuel this thing holds twice as much fuel but it doesn't cost twice as much so you say like using these you you'll save like a couple of hundred so uh, we need to put a stack decoupler on let's put that on bomb then fuel tanks and we'll put uh, a couple of these on boom and boom looking good then, uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to put on some solid rocket boosters, I think. Now, how am I going to do this? I think we'll just pop that on there. And, well, oh, did I? Oh, I didn't put the, I didn't have the symmetry on, bonehead. Let's put that on there. And then we'll just take a couple Oh, what am I looking at? We'll, we'll take a couple. I don't think the fleas will be big enough. I think we'd probably need hammers. So let's put a couple of hammers on there. All right. Oh, we need a we need a rocket motor on this. We'll take a a forty five swivel. Nice. Right. We need to make these aerodynamic. Now, several people have left comments and said you can put parachutes on these and uh, and recover them. And yeah, you can, but uh, I mean, yeah, you could, but it, you're talking about very, very small amounts of money. I mean, to, but but then I've been fussing around trying to save a couple of hundred on 
putting batteries on it, so I'm kind of contradicting myself, but yeah, you could, like, you could just put parachutes on the top of here and, and try and recover them, but we're not going to bother. We're not going to bother. So that's it. That's, um, that's our rocket. We'll ju just check our staging. Uh, yeah, so we're going to fire all the engines together, then we'll get rid of the two uh, side boosters, then then we jettison that stage, final stage, and then deploy the satellite. Oh, that's going to be very cool. Let's go launch it. Okay, we're uh, we're ready to launch. Now, which direction are we going to go? Well, normally we go to the east. We go along the 90 degree line, right? But we're going to be going over the poles. We're going to be going north to south. It is worth checking in the tracking station to make sure you know which way you're round you're supposed to be orbiting. Um, so we actually need to be going to the south, okay, for our orbit. We're, we're orbiting counterclockwise. It wants us to. So uh, that's it. Let's put um, our, uh, SAS on and ignition. And immediately I'm going to start to push this over a little bit. And uh, I've just realized that I haven't put any fins on this. Uh, which could make flying this kind of interesting. Let's jettison those, kick in the thrust. Oh, no fins. Yeah, that. this is going to be interesting to see whether I can control this. You should put fins on this, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. So I've got a swivel engine, so that's going to give me the control. It's just whether I've got the stability. So probably picking up some speed is going to be a good thing before I try and do too much with this. We're up over 11,000, 12,000. Let's push this over a little bit. I'm going to have to be very careful with this rocket because... Although once we're you know out of the atmosphere, I mean, it doesn't matter. But Right, let's get this over towards 45 degrees. Here we go. Right. Let's, let's let, let that do its thing. Now, you can mess around uh, and try on your takeoff to get closer to where you want to be in orbit, but I'm not going to do that because I want to show you how to change your, the, the plane of your orbit pretty radically. So we're actually going to be, we actually wanted to be at a 90 degree in inclination. Uh, which I'll, I'll show you. We're, we're, you know, what, I'll show you now. Let's let's go and have a look at this, and we'll look at our periapsis. And as you can see, we're going we're going counterclockwise rather than clockwise because this orbit needs to be counterclockwise. Which um, you can't really see very well on here, but if you go and look in the tracking station, you can see it. Right? How are we doing? What's our uh, what's our apo? Oh, 187. Right, let's um, let's kill the engines. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Oh, that's that's pretty darn good actually. That's excellent. All right. Well, let's put in a maneuver node. Add a maneuver, and we'll zoom out a little bit, and we'll just bring up a periapsis. And the periapsis, I'm going to go for is not going to be that high it's going to be like oh that's plenty that's plenty doesn't even need to be that much but that'll do that'll do this does not have to be a circular orbit we'll walk to the next maneuver oh come on walk to the next maneuver oh please walk to the next maneuver here we go okay cool so we're a minute out right where do i need to be pointing at Let's get to our... Oh, see, that's the problem. This thing isn't going to turn very well. Yeah, I'm going to have to jettison that stage. It's no good. Let's get rid of that. Now I'm going to just, like, have a, a um, start the engine and have a quick burn just to reset this estimated burn number because otherwise it'll be working on the old thruster, not the new one. Okay, so now... We've got a 45 second burn, so we want to start at about 22 seconds. And I'm not even pointing at my 
uh, my blue icon. Oh, this is a disaster, but don't worry. We'll, we'll be able to sort this out. Here we go. Let's get there and start the burn. Right, so it's a 42 second burn. But we don't have to be, with this initial orbital burn, we don't have to be that precise. Because I'm going to show you how you can take a, a really lousy orbit and turn it into exactly the orbit that you want. So here we go. How's our periapsis doing? I'll, uh, I'll shut this down fairly soon. Just about now. There we go. So 145. Went, went a little bit over. How much fuel we got? Loads. Loads of fuel. Okay. We can get rid of that maneuver node. Okay. So now we are in a polar orbit. We are, we are zipping over the poles. The problem is that we're going over in this direction. And we actually want to be going in this direction. Okay. So our planes are out of alignment. So what I want to show you, if you if you look side on at this blue orbit, oh, you can see now, can you see it's got these little things going around that way, indicating that we need to be traveling in that direction. Right, if, um, if you extend this line, because now it's just like, it's not a circle, it's just a line. If you extend this line straight up, you come to this point. Now this is the descending node. And if you go up here, this is the ascending node. And sometimes the ascending node will be at the top, and sometimes it'll be at the bottom. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean the top and the bottom. It, mean, it means something else. But I'm not going to go into it. Right. So how the hell do we get from this orbit to this orbit? Well, pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go to our ascending node. Okay. That's what we're that's what we're heading towards. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to turn my my blue circle so that I, I've got it full on. And then I'm going to go from my ascending node to the opposite side of my blue circle. And I'm going to put in a maneuver node. Add maneuver. Coolness. I'm then going to expand the orbit. So this will be a prograde burn. Right? And I'm going to expand that out until it reaches this ascending node about there now what's the apoapsis of this uh, this is 7.6 that's 6.9 so we want to come out a little bit more than that uh, you know what if I click on it it would be a oh come here there we go right so that's 7 this is well that's minimus uh, seven, we want to come out to 7.6. There we go. So 7.6. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That'll do. Right. But you'll notice that this is like not lined up with this. Okay. So what we want to do we want to take the this node and just if you if you drag if you hold click and hold and then you can drag it around and what we want to do is just line it up ah that looks a bit closer so let's drag it around a little bit more oh, 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 oh. it's this is this is jumps around a bit but Oh, now, ah, yes, that's pretty darn good, like that. But this apoapsis here is a little bit too far, so I'm actually going to bring it down a little bit. Oh, that wrong way. Let's retro that. Okay, that looks, that looks about right. That looks about right. Yep, 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 I'm happy with that. Right, what we'll do, warp to the next manoeuvre. There it goes, whizzing around. And 
any second now and get there. Right, we need to be pointing at our blue manoeuvre icon. Now the next burn is going to be 29 seconds. Right, let's, come on, where are you? There you are. Boom. Now I could have also adjusted, because we're going in the wrong direction. I could also have adjusted the, um, the plane a bit, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make this very simple for you. So the first thing is just to get up to this point. So uh, 29 second burn, we want to start this at 15 seconds, 16, 15, and off we go. So now we're going to be watching our, our blue orbit come out here. And we'll do the same thing that we usually do. We'll wait for it to get out kind of close. And then we'll stop the burn. And then we'll just do a fine adjustment with a little bit of thrust. And that'll do. Right, and then let's finish it off. Little bit of thrust to there. That will do pig. That is bang on. That'll do very, very nicely. Okay, right now what we're going to do, we're going to put in another manoeuvre node right about here. Let's get rid of the old one first. So where is it? There it is. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. Clean things up. Then we're going to put another manoeuvre node in down there. Right, add manoeuvre. Cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this blue circle into this green circle. Oh yes we are. And we're going to be using two sets of icons. We're going to be using the these pink icons. You've probably been wondering what these pink icons are for. Well, what they do, let me show you. If, if I point this up uh, kind of there, right. Here's our current orbit. We want to change it into this. If I take one of these pink icons, see it starts to move it. All right. Now we actually want the other direction. We want to go this way. All right. So now you'll notice that as you bring it out, right, it also increases your apoapsis, right. So you need to combine adjusting that with a little bit of retrograde, right, to shrink it down, right, and then you can have a bit more, oh, wrong way, wrong way, I think, oh, you know what, we might not be able to do this in one manoeuvre, this is, this is an extreme plane change, we're going almost 90 degrees, we may not be able to do it in one change, if we can't, then not going to worry too much. Okay, uh, we're we're close to the circle at that point. So you know what we're we're going to do this in uh, we're going to do this in two steps. So all we're going to try and do is get it fairly close, and then we'll do just a, a little last adjustment. Oh, that's not what I want. I want this. Oh, right. So we're pretty close to the the descending node. We just bring it in. Just the tiniest fraction. No, this way. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, that looks that looks good. When once we've done this maneuver, we can then do a final maneuver just to bring this in, just to bring this in. Okay, so let's get this maneuver done. So um, it's only a three-second burn according to this. So. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I, we'll see about that. <laughs> I can't say I'm convinced, but we'll see. Maybe it is. Okay. Add maneuver. Uh, sorry. Warp to next maneuver. What the hell am I talking about? Warp to next maneuver. So we're going to get right down here. That'll leave us just a minute to go. There we are. Right, let's get pointed towards our blue maneuver icon. Here we go. There. Oh, come back a little bit. There we go. Okay. Right, we can uh, go down a little bit. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm, man, I'm going to get down to about 10 seconds and then I'm going to do a little test burn and just see what uh, what this says. So let's get down to about 10 seconds. Let's do a little test burn. See, it's saying a lot more. Good job I started it early. Okay. We're coming out nicely and getting ready to stop the burn now and then we'll just finish it off with low thrust about there oh that looks good that looks good okay so we get rid of this maneuver now and then we're just gonna do one oh Oh, what, hang on, was that close enough? Let's check the contract. No, oh, that. It's, this is the thing. You don't have to be like that precise. There you go. We've uh, we've launched it. So, oh, now we can do the coolest bit. <laughs> and I love this. Right, let's go to our ship. Where's the sun? There's the sun. So let's turn around so we can actually see the ship. And. If I come out to about there, right, let's, let's try and get it against the background so you can see. All right. So this fairing, we can now jettison this fairing. So three, two, one, boom. And all the bits fly off and our satellite is exposed. Awesome source. Right, let's um, just spin this round a little bit. That's, that's enough. Right, let's, uh, oh, that's pretty much bang on. I'm going to right click on this. Oh, look at that, sun exposure, 0.99. The max you can get is 0.1. The energy flow, 0.36. So it's powered up. It's perfectly in orbit. Oh, awesome source. Okay, that's it. We can leave that up there to happily orbit forever and a day. I can just whiz round in its ill orbit forever. Cool. So now we can go back to um, the space center. So let's go back to the space center. And we've got our additional cash. Let's have a look at the contract. Hooray! So we've got an extra 82,000 on top of the advance that we've got. So we're up over 432,000 now, guys. That is awesome source. Right, well, we're very close to being able to upgrade our research and development, which we can, means we can get into some seriously cool technology. Uh, we're talking hypersonic space planes, all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, come back for the next one. Peace out.